Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my mom. Hi. <laughs> and last, I know it was like two days ago, I commented or posted on YouTube and asked you guys to ask her questions about her finding out when I was pregnant. So we're gonna hop right in and ask her some of your guys' questions. So the first, and my dogs are in the background, so sorry if you hear them. <laughs> Um, the first question is, what is one positive thing and one negative thing about being a young grandmother? Okay. One of the positive things is I was always concerned about not being around to see grandchildren or great grandchildren because I had my kids at 30 and 35. So now I feel I may have an opportunity to see my great grandchildren. And of course I'm enjoying my grandchild so that's that's a positive thing um is there something negative i don't think so i think being 53 with a grandchild has been wonderful and i feel blessed okay <laughs> um the next question is <clears throat> did you think about kicking me out briefly for about five minutes <laughs> you did <laughs> I had a lot of feelings when I first found out and I thought well maybe she needs to learn what she's in for but then I realized that probably wouldn't be the best thing for either of them so that was only a five minute thought well that's good <laughs> um okay um what was your biggest fear for me um, missing out on things in life. I was very concerned that having a child, which we all know takes a lot of time and energy. Um, my fear was that she would miss out on going to college and having fun with her friends. And then I realized, however, that she can still do college and she could still have fun with her friends, maybe, um, in a different way, but, um, I realize now that she's not missing as much as I thought she would. Okay. <laughs> Did you want me to get an abortion at first? At first? No. I've always brought her up to not believe in abortion, um, just because that's our thoughts and my thought. Um, I feel that there's a lot of regrets once that happens, and uh, but at the same time, I wanted to make sure she knew all her options so even though i gave her all the options including um, adoption keeping the baby an abortion i was very hopeful that she would not go with the abortion route oh <laughs> okay um okay what are some similar similarities in the way you raise taylor and how she is raising blake and how she continues to raise blake as she grows up Okay, so um, hey. I had to really think about this because it's only been two months. So uh, that's kind of a tough question to answer. Um, I do feel she's very loving and doting and, and takes very good care of the baby. And um, that's huge to me. And that's how I was with my kids. I tried to show them a lot of affection and I tried to be there for them, which she is. Um, what was the other question? The, the similarities and, sorry. And how she is raising Blake and how she continues to raise Blake as she grows up. But at the same time, I do have some disagreements and, but that's hard because I feel I need to let her know how I feel about some things. But again, I have to remember that she's the mom and it's her decision to make. Yeah, we sometimes have to argue <laughs> over some things where she thinks differently than how I think but mm -hmm. I remind her as well that I'm the mom <laughs> so but I'm her mom too but, yeah. so I can tell her what I yeah. think <laughs> no and I understand <laughs> that but you know okay um were you mad at Taylor for getting pregnant at 18 did you try and encourage her to get an abortion would you already answer that and what were your husband's feelings about it so were you mad at me I was really upset um, 
I was disappointed because I discussed uh, birth control with her for quite some time. I made sure that it was an open conversation. When she did come to me about wanting um, birth control, I was very proud of her to, for coming to me because I know that's hard. So um, I was disappointed, I was very sad, but I don't know that I was angry. I don't know that I, mm -hmm. maybe for a moment, but. You just I, went through all the phases. I was, yeah, I was more sad is mm -hmm. what I was. Um, my husband was angry. <laughs> Um, he was very angry and he was like, she's going to be out of the house once the baby's here, you know, she's got to figure it out. But since then, Blake has him wrapped around her finger and he and Taylor are getting along great. And so here we are two and a half months and she's still here. So, <laughs> yeah. And that's funny because I explained to you guys my family's reaction, but I never heard my stepdad's like reaction through this all he just told me that I have to grow up he kept it very quiet so that's the first time that I heard that stuff of <laughs> my stepdad's reaction yeah. so but I mean I'm glad I'm still here yeah she's still here <laughs> oh my gosh okay um how did you think her life would turn out before you knew she was pregnant um well you know when you when you have a baby you have dreams and you know, and through the years, you you try to mold them into what you hope they will be, and you you want them to live the life you want them to live. So I wanted to see her go to college. I wanted her to go um, stay in a dorm. Um, you know, I wanted to see her become an independent businesswoman and become self sufficient before she had a family. Um, so you know, so I had dreams and plans, and then I realized that my dreams and plans aren't going to be hers. Mm -hmm. So that's been a big one to swallow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, did you feel embarrassed or guilty? Um, embarrassed. I was more embarrassed for you mm -hmm. than for myself. <laughs> uh, you know, I think maybe I thought people would look at me like, Oh God, you know, she didn't raise this child, right. Or she didn't teach her about birth control, but um, I was more embarrassed for Taylor because I knew people would look at her and have an opinion of her, and that was hard for me. Um, so I wasn't embarrassed, but I was for my daughter. And guilty? Did you feel guilty? No, I didn't, I didn't have any guilt because I knew I handled things. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was always open with you about yeah. what was important and to protect yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So no guilt. <laughs> Yep. Um, were you nervous about being a grandmother? Uh, you know, I wasn't sure how the pieces were going to um, come together. Um, you know, she lives with us and, you know, being a grandma, you just want to have fun and play around and spoil the baby. And so I was worried about what it was going to be like with her living here. And, um, but I mean, as far as nervous goes, I think that's it. I just didn't know how it was all going to fall into place, but it has very nicely. And I think it's been wonderful. Okay. Um, is your mom financially supporting your daughter? So Blake, are you financially supporting Blake? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I haven't needed to. You know, I do support Taylor, or we support Taylor. So I guess, in a sense, we support Blake as well because she has a roof over her head and, you know, a place to sleep. And so as far as that goes, but um, I don't buy formula. Um, we don't buy the clothes. You know, Taylor takes care of all of that. Yeah. My dog is barking. <laughs> okay. Um, what did you think about the baby when she said she wanted to keep her aka Blake <laughs> what did I think of the baby what did you think about the baby when she said so I'm guessing what did you think when I said I wanted to keep her I guess I, I again it was just I was sad I mean I I didn't I didn't want her to have an abortion so that wasn't an option um I did talk to her about a little bit more about adoption but I couldn't imagine having a granddaughter out there and not knowing how she is. So 
I think I just accepted it and understood that that's just how it has to be because there's no changing it. It's how it was meant to be. That's gonna be a lot. Randy's okay. here. Yeah, my stepdad's here. Hold on. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, the next question is, how would you feel slash react if she got pregnant again right now? <laughs> we just talked about this. Now, I'd be very angry. <laughs> um, no, I'd be very upset definitely because then yeah then her dreams and such would be very difficult to reach i think right now she still can but if she were to do that she'd tie herself down and it would be difficult for her to be successful and i mean she, let me put it let me put it this way she could be successful but um it would be much harder for her to do the things that she wants to do and i don't think it'd be fair to blake either because it would take time away from blake so i'd be angry for sure yeah. <laughs> I would, I would be scared. Then she'd have scared. to find a place to live for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely would. Um, okay. Did, um, did losing your dad affect her thoughts when you were pregnant? Not, not necessarily affect them, but for example, did she think about your baby growing up without your dad there? And did that affect her feelings on your pregnancy? Do you understand you, that? Wait, hold on. Do you understand that? <laughs> Is that for me or for you? I don't know. Wait, I, did losing I your dad affect her thoughts <clears throat> when you were pregnant? Not necessarily affect them, but for example, did she think about your baby growing up without your dad there and did that affect her feelings on your pregnancy? So I think... Yeah, like, so <clears throat> I was really upset with him um, because as you know, he took his life. Actually, tomorrow will be two years. Mm -hmm. And, um, so I was upset because I knew that, um, she needs her dad. She needs her dad. And, you know, at all points in life, all stages in life, we need our dad. So I was upset about that. I was angry with him, um, for not being here for her. And, uh, but I think you were kind of going through some emotional stuff while you were pregnant, but I think mm -hmm. the hormones didn't help, but I think mm -hmm. that's the only reason why. It was more hormones that made it hard for you during your pregnancy. Yeah. Yeah. But we know he's still around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he is. <laughs> um, were you annoyed and did you think Taylor would be as good of a mom as she has turned out to be? Turned out to be? I was worried because... She's a teenager. She wants to go out and have fun with her friends. Mm -hmm. She is missing out on some things that she really, really would like to do. Um, so I was worried and I do know that it does affect her sometimes, but I am pleasantly surprised at what a great mom she is. I'm very impressed mm -hmm. and I'm very proud of her. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, what, what did you say Wait, what did she say when, what did, what did you think, I guess, when I chose the name Blake? Well, actually, I think I came up with Blake. I, actually, Blake Lee. I like Blake Lee. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Um, so I really like Blake Lee. When she just wanted Blake, I really kept trying to add the <laughs> L-Y at the end every time I talked to her about the name. Because it just was a little more feminine. I like a name that's not gender specific. Um, but I, I think it's a great name and Blake fits it. She does fit. The yeah, name. she yeah. does. <laughs> um, did your mom have a better reaction than you thought? I think you, I don't know. I kind of, I was kind of expecting, expecting your reaction, I guess, just going through the phase. I didn't know what I was expecting. Honestly, I was just kind of like, I didn't, I didn't expect anyone to react a certain way, I guess. I was just kind of like, they're going to react. I think you expected me to be, to be mad. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I was scared to tell you because I told you last. I was the last one. <laughs> I told People like. People at school knew before me. <laughs> well, Everybody knew. My mom knew before me. I was more comfortable well, with them. Going last. going to your mom was this, is like the scariest feeling because like you don't want them to be disappointed in you and like. So that I was scared and I wanted other people's opinions first on how to go to her, but they didn't help either. So if this happens to you, go to your mom first. Yeah. I would say go to your mom yeah. first. Definitely. Yeah. But 
Because she was... can guide you on what to do next. Yeah. It's yeah. Still, it's still scary though. <laughs> <laughs> um Um, do you see anything we haven't? It's hard to remember which questions we've done. Um, oh, what did you think about me having a girl? <laughs> no, um, actually, it, I was pleasantly surprised because initially we were told it was a boy and, you know, that's great. Love boys. Um, but for some reason, I felt Taylor would do better with a girl at her age. I don't know why, but mm -hmm. when I found out it was a girl, I was pretty excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. They're special. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, did you feel as though everyone around you was judging your parenting because your teen daughter was pregnant? Not true at all, just how society can be. So I think we kind of answered this earlier. Um, again, that kind of thought does kind of go through your mind. They kind of look at you like, what kind of parent are you? And you know did you not bring your daughter up right and um but again i uh i feel that i did everything i could mm -hmm. and so it, it was just a, a a few moments really of time that i felt a little concerned about that yeah so you did go in detail early in this video right. about that um in your opinion what had what would have been the best way for me to tell you that i was pregnant just go to your fir you first. Yeah, I think again, it, if she if she'd have come to me first, it would have, I would have felt a little better about it. But I don't yeah. think there's any great way. <laughs> yeah, no, there really isn't. Um, how has Taylor having a child affected your life? Mm, well, honestly, it seems a little more settled and a little more comfortable around here. Um, after she lost her dad, it, it's been like walking in the dark and trying to figure things out in life and how are my kids and how is, how is everybody doing? And um, once Taylor had Blake, it was a blessing because she's more confident and happy and comfortable. And so, so is our household. So um, it's actually been, it's a wonderful experience and I'm very happy. Yeah, it's definitely, I don't, I think I mentioned this in my past video, but it has lightened my life more. And I think when I was really down, I brought down the whole household. <laughs> I would take my feelings out a lot on my family in the house, especially after my dad. So having Blake has really lightened my life and just taking almost taking my mind off of like she said the darkness that mm -hmm. was around so it was a blessing in disguise but yeah it's getting dark out here so I think this is where we're gonna end but thank you for all commenting all the questions for my mom and thank you for being in the video you're welcome <laughs> and and thank you guys for supporting my daughter Thank we you. appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Thanks. guys. Bye. <laughs>